right, our last step is to put this all together into our final product. So to do that, remember we're in an assembly environment. So I go to start a new assembly. And again, I want to place as my first component the one thing here that doesn't move, which pretty easily is going to be our carriage. Our carriage is going to be fairly stationary. So I'm going to place the carriage. And I want to just click and then right click, click OK. And first thing I want to do is make sure it can't move anymore. So I'm going to right click on it and ground it. Now it won't move. So let's put the deck gun in first, or the barrel in first. So I'm going to insert the barrel using the place command. This barrel sits it within these little grooves here. So I'm going to constrain. And because it's all circles, I can do the axis of the mount part for the barrel to the axis of that. And now my barrel is in there, but it can still move up and down, which we want to be able to do. And it can, But it can move back and forth, which we don't want to do. So this barrel, the diameter or the measurement from here to here is the same as the width of our carriage. So I can just constrain this side to here. So I'm going to go to constrain, and I'm going to zoom in and select this surface. And if I just select this our surface, it'll flip it. I don't want a make constraint. I want a flush constraint so that these two surfaces stay on the same side of each other flush to each other. So click OK. And now my barrel just moves up and down, which is perfectly fine. Next, let's, let's place the uh, trunnions on there. So I'm going to go to place and click on the trunnion. And there's two of them. So I'm going to place them too. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with this. I'm going to do the axis to the axis first. Let's do that for both of them. And now I want this plate to sit flush that way and back and forth. So I could do that using what I've taught you so far, where we just do a constraint on this surface to the bottom and then a flush constraint from this surface to here. Or I can use the lines, too. I can constrain ends or lines to lines or edges. So I'm going to constrain this edge to this edge. And what that does is tell Inventor that this edge needs to stay connected. And typically, that doesn't work, except I'm also telling Inventor that these axes need to stay the same. So that plate no longer can move. So let's do that to the same side, or to the other side. And there we go on that. So far, so good. All we need now is the wheels. So let's place four wheels. And again, this is a circle going onto a circle, so I can use an insert constraint. And I'm going to just select one side of my wheel. And I'm going to select the inner side of there. Click Apply, and just do that four times. All four wheels are on, so this assembly is done. This still moves up and down. And it's it would be really, really hard to tell Inventor not to go like that. Like that. So we're going to just kind of keep it as that. And that's pretty much it. So we can uh, check the mass of this part, or this assembly. We see it has a mass of 1.123 pounds. So let's go ahead and save it. And this part is done.